How's it going, Pumpkinheads? My name is Skellington Steve, and welcome back to Valhalla. So last time we had a couple of customers and we went on break. Now this time we are back from break and we're going to continue with, I guess, our first night. So, <clears throat> at least I didn't get locked up this time. Alright, so I've been told that um, there is a... Uh, there's an achievement or something for setting all of the all of the songs on the jukebox the same. So I'm just gonna go ahead and change everything if I can. If that is a thing that I can do. Okay, there we go. I have to right click to get it to go away. There. Done. Okay, there it is. The achievement. I like it, okay? Alright. <clears throat> okay then, back in action. Oh, okay. Looks like we got an Omnic in here. I'm not sure whether to be... I'm not... You know what? No. I'm not gonna be robotic about it. Good evening. Good even. Um... Would you mind taking your helmet off? Oh, okay, it's not a robot, it's a dude in a helmet. Okay. Oh, sorry. I, it's so comfortable, I usually forget I have it on. Oh, and it's a... Okay. Is this better? Yeah, thanks. What can I get you, miss? Master Specialist Sei P. Asagiri. Huh. Of the 75th Division Valkyrie Corps, at your service. Wait, that's too long. Just call me Say. Yeah, I was... I figured. What can I get for you, Say? Let's see, I'm in the mood for a sweet drink. Oh, but not sweet as in cool. Although, a cool drink would be nice too, um... But not cool as in great, and especially not as in big. More so since I have to get up early tomorrow, I can't afford a hangover. Uh, sorry, did you get that? A sweet drink, preferably a cold one that's not too big, right? Yeah, that's it. I can do that, give me a sec. Alright. Something small, sweet, and icy. Alright, so let's go with... Let's see, sweet drinks, sugar rush... We need, we want something on the rocks. Sparkle Star... Blue Fairy. Moon Blast. There we go. Moon Blast. All on the rocks and blended. Not bad. Let's do that. So, six Adelhide. One Powdered Delta. One Flanner Guide. Two Karmatrine. On the rocks. Blended. Shakey, 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 stop, and done. Here you go. Ah, yes, this is just what I needed. Thanks. We don't get many white knights in here as clients. I can only remember one other, in fact. You said you're from the Valkyrie Corps, right? Are you the guys who deal with riots and such? Riots? Oh, no, no. We're think you're thinking of the Blitzkrieg Corps. We're the ones with huge plated suits. Oh, the ones with huge plated suits, right? Ah, those. No, we're different people. I mean, obviously we're different people, but we don't deal with riots or anything. In fact, you could say we deal with their aftermath. How so? To rescue, heal, and protect, we are the angels who soothe those suffering enemy attack. The who soothe those suffering enemy attack. I want to make sure I read that right, and I think I did, and okay, we're just going to keep going now. We are the light of hope in the darkest of times, the ones who assist the victims of crime. We watch, we protect. Alright, are you, uh, you, you, hey, say, you wanna, are you, are you a Green Lantern? 
Are, are you trying to tell me that you're a Green Lantern? Because it sounds pretty close to a Green Lantern. Come on. You can tell me. Come on. Bartender to person who I serve drinks to. Are you a Green Lantern? Okay. If you don't want to tell me, it's fine. <clears throat> uh, what's that? Sorry, it's sort of our pledge of allegiance. We recite it every morning. What it means is our duties mostly include rescuing civilians, healing the injured, and protecting them from... stuff. What kind of stuff? Burglars, rapists, car crashes, anything that might happen on our watch. You mentioned heal. Are you a doctor then? Nah. I know many doctors, but not I'm not one. I'm more of a paramedic. I treat people so they can arrive safely at the doctor. I'm also kind of like a firefighter in that sometimes I rescue people from places. Damn, that must be a tough job. Sort of, but it's also really rewarding. I mean, I've yet to meet somebody that isn't glad to see me when I arrive. You must have seen some shocking sights. Yeah, this one time I was saving some people from the top of a collapsing building. I looked down and I was blown away by how pretty the city was. It was like a starry sky on Earth. Oh, and there was this time we were cleaning up the aftermath of a car crash. Water was pouring out of a hydrant. With the lights and scattered pieces of glass, it was almost dreamlike. That's what I meant by shocking sights. No, but those are sights, and they're shocking you, right? Yeah, but... N never mind. Wait, did I mishear you actually meant size? I mean, sure, I've suffered the deepest, longest, and most frustrated size from people after everything said and done, but... D don't worry, you didn't mishear. I guess I was just expecting a different kind of answer. What kind of answer? Don't worry about it too much. You finish your drink, can I get you anything else? Hmm, something classy. Classy drink. Can you be more specific? Don't make it too big. Does that work? Sorry, I don't come to bars very often. My drinks usually come in a can. No problem, don't worry. Classy drink, right? I'll see what I can find for you. Alright, so let's try to do what we did last time. We'll make it a classy drink, but also, if she wants another cool one, we'll make it on the rocks. So there we go, a Mercury Blast. We gave her a Moon Blast, so why not a Mercury Blast? So one Adelhide, one Bronson, three Powdered Delta, three Flanner Guide, and two Carmatrine on Ice, and Blended. Done and done. Have some. Here you are. Yep, this looks like something Stella would drink. Who? She's my dearest friend. Not that I don't have others, but she's the one I've known the longest. She likes these kind of drinks, so I wanted to see what's so special about them. And what do you think? I was expecting something... stronger? I like it quite a bit. Say, Miss Bartender, what's your name? Hmm? You know, my name. I want to know yours. Oh, sure. Just call me Jill. Jill. Hmm. Jill. Jill is short for Jillian. No, that's not right. Jillian... J Julianne? No. Do not call me Julianne, please. <sighs> Sorry about that. No, please excuse me. I didn't want to anger you. Um, but why do you like- why don't you like being called your full name? It's a stupid reason. Don't dwell too much on that. Oh, okay. I still feel bad about angering you, though. Why? Because you look like a nice girl, Jill, and I don't like angering nice people. If it helps somehow, I really like this place. Well, good. You're the first person from the last two people who actually said that this place is nice. You can call it a hellhole, or a crack house, or whatever. Hey, there we go. That actually helps. You're the first person to say something nice today. Thanks. What do you like about it? The smell of dog urine and so- okay. 
Weird. My mom used to be a veterinarian, and I used to go to her clinic after school, so the smell takes me back. Makes me feel comfy and nostalgic. <clears throat> what made you become a white knight instead of a veterinarian or anything else? Well, I was never a good student, so studying medicine of any kind was out of the question. That aside, it's mostly because of something that happened while I was a kid. A white knight attacked my friend and was coming for me when this other white knight saved us. I don't remember what happened next, I just woke up in the hospital with my friend watching over me. I mean, it wasn't a prophetic moment or anything like that, but ever since then, I felt like this was my calling. That I wanted to help people the same way they helped me. Huh. It's interesting though, one would think being attacked by a white knight would make you run the opposite direction. Yeah, but it was another one that saved me, so I kind of guide myself towards judging every everything on an individual basis. Well, not to an extreme ex extent, but you get me. Yeah, I try to do the same too. Why well, join the Valkyrie Corps specifically, though? Because I wanted to rescue people from dire situations whenever possible. And going into patrols and all that felt too tiresome. It's also the one with the least paperwork involved. Now that I think about it, there are different there are different kinds of white knights, right? Or there, yeah. <laughs> I guess white knight is too broad a term. There's not one specific type. There are many different classes: rescue, assault. There's even a squad full of bureaucrats. Really? Yeah, they get assigned to companies to handle the accounting and that kind of stuff. People usually ask for them because they speed up processes, but a few are assigned when a company is suspected of having weird, under-the-table deals. Interesting. There was also a squad dedicated to fighting school bullying. They were doing a nice job, but the fad of anti-bullying campaigns passed and they lost their funding. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> I believe some members still work with anti-bullying cases in an unofficial capacity. Are they like... Are they like anti-bullying vigilantes? Like we have anti bully Why do I keep saying vol? Bullying. Anti-bullying, like, Batman? Because that'd be hilarious. That'd be nice, I think. Can I get you anything else? I don't know if I should, I can't afford that many drinks, and besides, I don't really know how to handle much al how much alcohol I can handle. Blech. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, you know what? I'll have something else. I remember some drink called a uh, martini? Brand Brantini? No, I'm pretty sure it's martini. It's Brantini, trust me, I'll get you one. She wants some. Okay, yeah, alright. So, Brantini. Six Adelhide, three Powder Delta, one Carmatrine, aged and mixed. Done. Brantini. Here, see? Huh, you were right. Thanks. You know what? I think I'll bring a friend of mine here in a couple of days. Really? Why? I like the feel of this place, and I want to share it with her. It might be a bit difficult, though. She's into, uh, classier places. Not that this place isn't nice, but don't worry. I know the kind of place I work in. I, I see. But it shouldn't be too bad. I just need to... What was that? It sounded like an explosion. I'd better check that. I paid you already, right? Yeah, go ahead. Be careful. I will. She left her helmet. Well, if she's coming back, I'll just hold it for her. I'll go check what the ever-loving hell that explosion was. Careful. What? Oh, the girl woke up, finally. The one we have stashed behind the counter. Where am I? Where am I? Good evening, and welcome to Valhalla. 
That might have not been the best thing to say. Valhalla? A am I dead? Does that mean that Uncle Ingus's ramblings about the afterlife looking like a shoddy downtown bar are true? <clears throat> okay. Hold it. Afterlife? I'm not dead? As far as I can tell, no. To be fair, I don't know how death or the afterlife work exactly, but you're breathing, right? Alright, then where the hell am I? How did I get here? Who brought me here? What were you planning to do with me? Are you an are you organ traffickers, robbers, rapists, pitpockets? You're pickpockets, aren't you? Why aren't you saying anything? I'm waiting for you to just to vent your worries, otherwise you'll just... You're rapists, aren't you? Rapists, the whole lot of you. You want to tear my clothes, beat me unconscious, and have your horrible way with me, then brutally murder me, don't you? All while still violating... Okay, we're moving on. Oh my god, woman, will you shut up? Oh, this is going nowhere. Let's just see if a drink can calm her down, or to throw in her face. Give her something that'll calm her down. Alright, let's see. Do, 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 do. Let's think. Girly drinks. Tastes like old chocolate milk with its good smell intact. Some say it tastes like caramel, too. Hey, that sounds like a Kahlua. Kahlua mudslide. Uh, let's see, something calming, something calming, something calming. Bubbly? Bubbly is usually calming, right? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna make her a fluffy dream. That sounds, that sounds calming. So, three Adelhide, three Powder Delta, uh, no alcohol. I don't want somebody freaking out in the bar with alcohol. So we're just gonna make her a nice little girly soft drink and see how she feels. Okay, the fliff dream. I made a fliff dream. Air, chill. Contain the calamity that is your memories. What is that? A drink. You're in a bar. Bars serve drinks. A bar? So, I figured I should give you something to help you calm down. Don't worry, it's on the house. To calm down? What did you spice it up with? Roofies? TTX? Pumpkins? God, no. I wouldn't even think of it. Your stuttering makes you suspicious, you know. If I ever added anything like that to your drink, they'd dock my pay and tips. Not to mention, I'd have to pay any lawsuits myself. And that's the best case scenario. I could get fired and lose benefits or go to jail. And trust me, the BTC loves to catch anyone who commits that particular felony. They'd show themselves all proud for a hefty PR boost. And the thought of going through all that is just... Bruh. Even if you say that. Let's do something. If you go outside and just head three businesses to the left, you'll find a convenience store. They sell drug tests for drinks. Tell the cashier that Dana Zane sent you. Hmm. Two flying cars crashed and went boom. That's why it was so noisy. Any damage? Hole in the street. To know about the drivers or anything. I see. Either way, I think I'm done here. You check the inside of the toilet paper's locker? What about... What about it? Oh my god. How? What? How? I'm back. He tried to give me bandages at first, though. Did you have to pay? N no. No problem, then. Try it on the drink. 
says negative. There you go. But you could be in cahoots with the clerk in the store. He even knew your name. Good point. But first of all, it's not my name. It's my boss's. Second, we're pretty much part of a chain. Sort of like the spicy chicken of bars. And finally, I'm not making you drink this. I offered it to you as a sign of peace. I mean, you are right. It is indeed suspicious on my part. Sorry. You can just ignore the drink, go through the door, and forget this ever happened. That would be it, you're at peace, and nothing of value would be lost. Are you implying something won't have value because I ignored it? Are you saying my presence is so unimportant that my lack of action will yield no Oh my god, it's like talking to Tumblr! She's triggered by everything! Oh Woman, will you drink the drink or leave, please? Uh. And what about the drink? Are you gonna let this fruit of your work go to waste so easily? Okay, now she's turning it. Yeah. Ooh, boy. Okay. N no, I... Well, I'll let you know that I'm not unimportant and that your work does matter. Thank you. Uh, not sure you should drink it all so fast. Why? You didn't I didn't put any alcohol in it. It's a lit- she might as well be drinking soda at this point. Like, mixed soda. So, how was it? Hmm. It was fine. Not something I'd order normally. Are you alright? Yeah. I guess, you were telling the truth. Sorry about that. No problem. If I were you, I'd probably react the same way. I should apologize for my last comment, too. It came out as insensitive. I guess I'll stay for a while. I need to get my thoughts in order. Can you tell me how I got here? My boss found you unconscious and brought you here for safekeeping. And you were asleep until that car crash outside. I see. I guess it's better to wake up here than on the street, stripped of clothes, dignity, and or organs. How did you fall unconscious? Were you tired? Sick? I guess I'm sick? I'd rather not talk about it. Of course. I'll tell you what, your drinks are on the house tonight. Why would you do that? Consider it an apology on behalf of everyone here for all the trouble we've caused you. Also, something tells me you might need another drink right now. Yeah, you might be right. Okay then, I'll take you on your offer. I'll have a piano man. Will you be fine? Yeah, I just gulped the last one, so I want to enjoy this one. Coming right up then. Oh, make her a drink called Piano Man. Make her drink tonight. All right, so do 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 do. I forgot. Like this is basically everything in the bar. On the rocks and mix. Shakey 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 done. Have your piano man. Here you go. Yeah, this is the one. My dad used to drink these before an actual pianist attempted to kill him. Okay. What did he do? Your dad, I mean, to provoke the pianist like that. Wrong place, wrong time, I guess. He was relaxing in a bar and suddenly the pianist leapt off the stage and started punching him. Some say he was off his meds and that my dad looked like some music critic that bashed him. I still hold my stance that he just got too excited. Excited. Jazz does that to you. Mm. I'm willing to call bullshit on that. I see. The Piano Man has an interesting story, actually. It was originally created by a bartender in honor of a pianist that... A pianist friend of his that just died. Seriously? Was the bartender's name John? And was he- he was a friend of the pianist. 
He, did he give him his drinks for free? Would his quick-witted joke light up your smoke? Just want to—I just want to know. Apparently, it mixes all the flavors. Said, said friend, like the most. Oh, that's nice. So this is how it feels to go for a drink at the end of a long, hard day at work. I'm not sure if I like the fact that I'm falling into that. Where do you work, Miss? Call me Kim. I don't know if I can say I work yet, though. I'm still just an intern. Can I ask where? Have you heard of a newspaper called The Augmented Eye? I read it every morning, in fact. Donovan D. Dawson was here earlier. I knew I smelled his nasty cologne. That bastard leaves his reek wherever he goes. So you believe me? I do. God, you have no idea how much I hate that chauvinistic horse blower. <laughs> <laughs> Harsh words. The worst part is that I kind of admire the way he does stuff. He's so forceful about the things he wants that people have. He wants that people have it done before they realize what's going on. Oh, okay. He even got a pizza delivery boy to work server maintenance. Wow. A full week passed before the pizza shop asked where the hell he was. Would you believe it? The guy became decent at server maintenance despite having no previous experience. It's kind of admirable, but at the same time, I hate his guts. Ah. Knowing that I have to work for him, it's... Ah! Why are you working there, then? Did I just ask something I shouldn't have? No, don't fret about it. I'd rather not talk about it, though. Fair enough. What's your name, bartender? Call me Jill. Is it hard to be a bartender, Jill? I guess it's as hard as being a cook somewhere. You keep going through the motions while trying to provide something of quality, all while answering the whimsy of people's orders. I think the hardest part is dealing with the chemical hazards some people might leave behind. Why? At one point I thought about being a bartender, but I was afraid they'd make me wear skimpy clothes and dance or something. Here we go again. Well, it depends on where you start working, you know. I guess I was lucky Valhalla didn't end up being a tacky disco overseen by a DJ with an afro. My boss just wanted a comfy place, I think. Your boss sounds like an interesting person with wanting to put me somewhere safe and all that. She is. She's so cool and collected, but also has no qualms about showing excitement about stuff. Sure, she's a bit tense. She's been a bit tense the last couple of days, but even, even then, when you're... With her, everything just feels under control. She's also She also has this mechanical arm. I have no idea how she got it, but... <laughs> Sorry, I got carried away. It was fun to see you break the wise bartender character you're using there. I do that. It'd be nice to meet this boss of yours sometime and thank her. Shall I call her? She'd be glad to know you're okay. Oh no, I couldn't pester her that way. And besides, it's getting late and I don't want to abuse your generosity. You can ask for another one, although I don't know how much alcohol you can handle. I think I can handle another drink. One Brantini, please. Coming right up. <laughs> she wants a Brant- Sorry, a Mar- Ugh! Brantini. Yeah, that. Okay. So, doing this again. Four, five, six, two, three, karma tree, age mix, and done. Have it. Here. Yep, this seems like the stuff. Cheers. Hey, Jill. Was this job, like, a lifelong dream or something? Not really. Just kind of happened. One thing led to another, and bam, bartending. Do you regret not fulfilling a dream? The only dream I can remember being passionate about was buying a Model Warrior Julian arcade machine. Can't say I've given up on that one yet, but alas, adult stuff needs to be paid for first. You've never had a dream you wanted to chase? 
Not really. I mean, most of my dreams have been silly things or childish dreams. Childish dreams. Having a room where every piece of furniture talks, being a model warrior. Oh, childish dreams, yeah. I remember I wanted to live in a koi pond when I was seven. The fish seemed to be having a blast to me. So, no dreams? None that felt particular none that I felt particularly motivated to chase, no. I mean, I'm fascinated by AIs, but just couldn't find it in me to study that. So I picked something I found nice and moved on. And somewhere along the way I became a bartender. I see. Finally! Those dogs left a mess, and I'm not gonna forget anytime soon. I mean, how the hell did they throw toilet paper out the window? Oh, a client. Good night, ma'am. Jill, I'm gonna leave early. I need to take care of the smell clinging to my body. Yeah, sure. Um, who is he? A ghost. Nobody you should worry about. Oh. I heard that! Why were you asking all those questions? Because now that I think about it, I don't really have a dream job or anything like that. I think we idealize the idea of a dream job too much. Not everyone walks around with a clear idea of what they want in life. Some take a liking to a job, others find it after many failed attempts. Sometimes life takes an unexpected turn that makes you change your plans. What I mean is, don't worry too much about it. Maybe you're right. Well, I'm gonna take my leave now. Thank you for everything. Please, thank your boss on my behalf. Bye. Thank you, come again. And that's it. We done for the night? Seems like it. Where's Gil? Where's the girl that was here? Gil cleaned the bathroom and left because he stank. Kim woke up, had a couple of drinks, and left. So she's called Kim. How did she look to you? How was she? She was freaked out when she woke up, but I managed to calm her down. Are you worried about her? Would you be? I don't know. Hey boss, do you feel like calling you boss is too impersonal? Mm, not really, no. Not like you call me that because I'm a stranger, just out of habit. Oh. Anyway, you're free to go after you finish washing up the glasses. Let me transfer you today's payment, maybe I'll give Gil a small bonus for dealing with the bathroom. Flawless service! Achievement unlocked! Hey! I done good! Alright! Not bad, not bad at all. Total earnings, drinks total, no mistakes, commission, today's payment, tips, flawless bonus, service bonus. I guess... I guess I lost some money there, must have been my bills already needing to be paid, but oh well. Your membership to Shining Fingered will automatically renew on the 17th. Make sure your account has at least $800 by then. Jill is lost in thought about a hollow planet. Buying it will prevent her from getting too distracted. You can now browse Danger U. You can now visit JC Elton's. Alright, well... I guess I can shop now, so... How much is this hollow planet? Or hollow plant. God, I do that every time. <clears throat> Alright, so if I buy this, she'll have $1,909. She wants it, so I don't see why not. Uh. Let's see if. Ooh, geez, that's expensive. Hmm. Well, I guess we're good. 
I just bought that. All right. Jill just bought what she wanted and she's pleased with herself. She will surely focus at work. Yay. All right. Well, let's unlock the phone and see what's going on. Miki Concert 2. Let's talk about Alice Rabbit. Miki Concert. Oh, okay. It's a... It's another one of those blog posts. Uh, let's see. What about the augmented eye? Huh. I don't know why I just looked at this and thought that it might have been me. Hmm. Don't trust this dog, y'all. Do not trust that dog. Alright. Well, I guess that's... I was gonna scroll, try to scroll down, but... Alright, I guess that's gonna be it for this episode. So, it ran a little about as long as uh, the last one. But... We actually did pretty good, I think. We handled our first night pretty well. A couple of assholes, a couple of nice people. And, you know, it just goes to show that things can happen. So, I'm going to save it here. We're going to call it good. And in the next episode, we will move on to night two. So, until then, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to become a member of the Pumpkin Patch today. And I will see you guys in the next episode. See you later.